That was a long shift. You're assigned to auxiliary control, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, have you been in the lower engineering deck lately? It's real hot. That will cause even more dilithium crystal fracturing. That's too bad. With the hostilities as they are with the Klingons, the fleet will need every crystal they can get. Yeah, they should cool down the engine room. That should slow down the fragmentation. Surely it's the high power mode that fragments the crystals. Every time the engine room, which contains the crystals, gets hot, the crystal fracturing gets worse. That's the cause, clearly. Hmm, I guess that's true. But... Excuse me, crewman, I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The argument you are employing, Mr. Walking Bear, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of the single cause, also known as the complex cause. The argument seems to make sense. That may seem so, Tenant, but the form of the argument is invalid. Single cause is an instance of the fallacy of questionable cause. It occurs when one assumes that there is a single, simple cause of an outcome, when in reality it may have been caused by a number of only jointly sufficient causes. Individuals making this fallacious argument are ignoring additional causal factors to the outcome. In the case you were discussing, the actual cause of the fracturing of the dilithium crystals is operating the warp engines at high power mode, which we do when we are above warp factor 6. High power mode also causes the engine room to heat up, so you see, both the fracturing and the heating were caused by high power mode, which was caused by high speed. All causes must be considered, Ensign Walking Bear, or the argument to cause is invalid. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Mm -hmm. Of course. I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies, such as the single cause fallacy. It's only logical. 